Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. I wanted to see if I could build a hybrid version of a tele-style guitar that uses a acoustic guitar bridge, an electric guitar pickup, plus a piezo pickup, so that it would give you the combination of being able to play a tele-style electric guitar and the sound of an acoustic guitar. So I'm going to tell you how it came together, what worked well, what didn't, so stay tuned. I did the design in Adobe Photoshop and after customizing it I printed it and taped it together. Now I'm just going to cut the pattern out so that I can use this as a template on the wood. I picked up some poplar from a lumber company and I will basically size up my wood together and make sure that the guitar pattern I have fits. I'm gonna go ahead and trace it out just so I know basically where to glue it up. Setting my clamps and trust me on this project you cannot have too many clamps. I'm gonna set both boards up on end and using some good quality wood glue I'm going to put plenty on and just using a piece of scrap wood kind of smear it out around making sure I'm covering everything I need. Don't worry about the access, it's going to go everywhere. I've got some paper underneath to, uh, to catch any of the drips so it doesn't make a huge mess. I'm going to put clamps on both sides of this and then once they're clamped down I'm going to come back with a wet cloth and wipe down all the excess glue. Once that's dried, I can remove the clamps, and now I'm ready to start cutting this out. using a spindle sander I picked up and I'll put a link for a video review of this little sander. I was really happy with how well it worked and how versatile it is. I also then just used a standard belt sander and cleaned up the top and the back of the pocket. Using a forester bit I kind of cleaned out the bulk of the center where I wanted to carve out the guitar. And using a router, I came at it in about quarter inch increments. This uh, this material comes with an MDF edging and a, a nice mahogany veneering on it. It's easy to cut, easy to sand, and comes in um, 16 by 20 inch sheets. I picked it up in a four pack from Michael's or one of your local craft stores. It's inexpensive and it's pretty easy to work with. Once I have the top cut out, I'm going to measure the center all the way down and align it with the center marks on the body itself. I want to locate where I'm going to install the tele style pickup, so I mark that and I'll go ahead and cut the hole out. Try to be as precise as possible with this. Using that little spindle sander, I cleaned up not only the pickup hole, but also the sound hole. Now it's time to uh, align where the control knobs will go. Now I want to make sure that that works with the wood bridge that I'm going to use on this. So getting a good idea of where they both go, I'll measure down, make sure it's straight, and mark off the holes using the Tele-style uh, metal bracket as a template. After getting all my holes drilled and making sure that everything fits, I also used a Dremel to carve out the three-way switch selector. Now I'm going to mark where 
the access holes are going to go into the back of the guitar. Using the drill bit, I'm going to punch out to get an idea of where to cut these. I decided to go with two holes, one to give me access to the bridge and the bridge pickup, the other to give me access to the control knobs. Using a router, I came back with a bearing bit and gave myself a lip around there that I can now mark and build patterns to put into the back to for the covers for the holes. That seems to work fine. Tapping down, I want to make sure that I get the curve to fit for the uh, jack on that. And now it's time to glue the face onto it. After smearing a lot of glue on there, I used a lot of clamps. That should hold it and I'm going to let it sit overnight. After sitting overnight, it's ready to come off and now I can cut off the access from the face. Using a router table, this worked really well. So, this really worked pretty good. Um, it's going to need some, some sanding, but I mean, the top cut out fine. If you have the ability to get a router table, it's great. My wife gave me this for Christmas. Came from Harbor Freight and was somewhere around $100. But, if you can't get something like that, then you can also use just a good router and do pretty much the same job. The main thing to keep in mind is whatever you're working on with any of these, use good eye protection and good ear protection. I cannot stress that enough. Now I'm going to do a little finish sanding. Now I'm going to mark out where the cavity is going to go for the neck. Now, measuring this out, I wanted to make sure I have it located dead center. So once I found that, I went ahead, double checked it, and now I'm going to mark where it fits. Now I used a router and doing it about every quarter inch hand routed out by eye. I lucked out on the fitting of this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, marking a little bit of curve so that I can kind of tie in the styling of that neck. I'll use my larger belt sander and then an orbital sander and back to some hand sanding. I'm going to finish cutting out and fit those back panels for this. Make sure they fit fine. Okay, I'm going to start working on staining the guitar. And I'm going to use a Varathane natural stain for the body itself. I want it to be kind of as close to the, the natural neck of the guitar as possible. The front of the guitar, I'm going to try this ebony stain because I want it to be almost black. I'm hoping this will work and still bring some of the wood grains out in it. And then, using the same brand, I'm going to use a water base, triple thick polyurethane. Now, this is a water base, and I've got a semi-gloss because I want a softer finish to that. So, so let's get started. Putting the stain on the front of it, I was a little bit nervous, and I actually put a piece of cardboard down in the sound hole because I did not want to drip the dark stain in there. Also, be careful around your edges because on this one, I wanted to keep the edging and the back of the guitar the light color. I used a rag to kind of wipe off any access. And I gave it a little light sanding around the edging and made sure everything was cleaned up. And I'm really happy with the face of that. So now I'm going to use a rag and apply the stain, the natural stain, onto the back of the guitar along the sides. 
I'm going to let everything dry up, come back, give it a light sanding, dust it off, and I'll do the same on the face. Be very careful on that dark. I didn't want to come through too much. Now I'm going to use the triple thick clear and hand brush that all the way around. and then doing the same to the front. And then once I have that on, I am gonna to have to come back, clean up those edges. I also used it on the back plates. After getting the first coat on, I'm gonna come back and lay a automotive pinstriping tape around the front of the guitar. This worked actually pretty well and having one coat of the clear helps hold it on. I'm gonna use a heat gun press it all down. I also did the center hole and we use a heat gun to get that sealed down as well. Once that's all heated down and sealed, I'm going to come back with another coat of clear and seal the pinstriping into it. And this is also going to give me another additional coating on there. This stuff is as thick as slobber. But it does lay out and smooth out nicely. Okay, I've got the body pretty well ready to go. It's stained and sealed, so I can pull this board off and we can start assembling the overall semi-homemade acoustic electric telly. So, some of the parts that I've purchased for it, I ordered a neck off of Amazon, and uh, this is, I believe, an Amu and I'll put a link down below to all these parts. Um, the strap plugs on the back, the jack for it, a Telecaster style single bridge pickup, and then also wanted to put in a Piazzo pickup as the second pickup. That should give me the ability to switch between electric and the acoustic sound or even maybe blend both of them. Um, I picked up a Telecaster style three-way switch and then the other parts like the tuners, the plate for the bolt-on for the neck. Um, but one of the things I also did was I picked up a wood bridge on this. So I'm going to use a wood bridge. What I'm shooting for is a guitar that could sound acoustic or sound electric. And I am by no means an expert on doing this. I just wanted to see if I could do it, try it, and have some fun and learn a little bit on the way. So let's get started. Now the neck actually fits really tight and his has to fit in exactly that way. I'm really pretty happy about that and I'll have to pre-drill to set that down in there but I think We're going to be fine with that. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the bridge on there. And I measured down to the 12th fret. And now I'm going to double that measurement down to where the bridge should pick up. Now looking at all the Telecaster guitars I had and even some acoustic guitars came up with the measurement of about 13 inches or 12 and a half inches. Masking this out, I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm going to clean off all of the, the clear coat and the stain so that I can glue the wood bridge on to help secure this. I'm going to drill the bridge itself for two screws to go all the way through to help hold it on while the glue dries because there's no way I'm going to get a clamp in there to hold it. So smearing that glue on there to get a good even surface and be ready to clean it up if any of it oozes out. But I'm going to set these two screws in 
and pop that bridge down on. Flipping it over and using these access holes, I'm going to put a wing nut style nuts on each of these screws and tighten them up. This is going to help to secure that bridge on there. And then coming back after it's dried, I'm going to drill through each of these through the guitar for the strings to be mounted. Now soldering is not my strong suit, but using the back pickup, I soldered to the first two lugs of the switch and then the ground wire, the black one, to the pot on the back. Doing the same with the piazzo to the two back lugs on that and then the ground to that same ground pot. Now there are wiring di diagrams that you can pull off of Google all day long for this and they're very easy to follow. Setting everything up inside, I'm going to put all my screws down to hold it into place. It looks like everything's going to fit just fine. Now the Piazzo comes with a sticky back that you can adhere to the guitar and I put it in the widest area to give me the most sound I could find. That's going to fit fine. Now I'll feed the last two wires through so that I can solder up the uh, jack on it and I'll screw that down. Now it's time to set the uh, the back plates on. Setting them in, I'll go ahead and pre-drill and then I will screw those down secure. And then I'll go ahead and get the uh, strap nuts installed on this. It looks like we're ready to uh, put the tuning keys on. So setting all the tuning keys in and putting the nut down to hold them in. Once you have those tightened down you can adjust the spacing on those and then drill and put a small screw in each of those. I think we're ready to string this up. I'm going to use some Ernie Ball. Uh, they are for electric guitar. I was originally thinking of stringing this with acoustic but I don't have a set on hand and I'm just really excited to, to get this thing going. Okay, now we'll go ahead and set the strings and string this up and um, I'm not going to get into too much detail on that. You can find plenty of videos on that. I want to demonstrate to you how the guitar turned out. So the first position on this all the way back is going to be the Telecaster pickup back here. And then all the way forward is going to be the Piazzo uh, pickup that's inside. Now the first thing you'll notice is because it's against the hollow body, it's got a lot of, it's got kind of some cool sounds to that. So there's a clean channel, the Piazzo pickup all the way forward on this. put it into the middle. This is a combination of the Telecaster bridge pickup and the um, Piazzo to the front. What I like about this guitar was it was a really, really fun project 
to build. Uh, there was a lot of challenges in it and a lot of things that went right and a lot of things that really were a struggle for me. And I'm not a guitar tech or luthier, so put your comments in, help me with this to figure out what I need to do. One, I used a um, Tele-style bridge pickup. Okay, that's not bad, but then once I put the Piazzo pickup, which I put it about here, it seems to be more sensitive than the neck pickup. And maybe I just need to look up at if there's a rating of sensitivity or whatever. So when I would switch from the back pickup to the front, of course the body would echo because the body plays like a, a cone. It's, it's, it's actually got really pretty good tones. Would I recommend building one of these? Yeah, give it a try. It, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I think I wouldn't mind doing another one. It's a, it's a fun playing guitar and there's a lot you could go in with the higher end pickups and I'm sure that could help a lot. All I wanted was it to be able to go from the bridge pickup, which is a Tele style bridge, all the way forward to being the piazzo, which gives you the, the sound of an acoustic guitar, to a combination of both, which gave you kind of some really cool, rich tones. This was a lot of fun to build. I hope you guys would give it a try. Also, give me some comments. Let me know what you think I did right, wrong. Give me positive suggestions, and I want to uh, learn from it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.